A New Mexico rancher has invited some new friends onto his property, and he's hoping they will make life harder for the neighbors. News 13's Marissa Lucero explains. On a ranch just 15 miles from Wagon Mound, New Mexico, he's got the perfect place. it ended up being just that, the perfect place to release eight black-footed ferrets. Rancher Greg Moore made the request in 2016 saying he's all for reintroducing species onto his property that used to be native in New Mexico. <laughs> then last September, in coordination with U.S. Fish and Wildlife and the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish, it happened. We're going to try to prove that the little guys can make it. Since his ranch has a high number of prairie dogs, Moore says it needed ferrets. That's because ferrets live in their burrows and prey on prairie dogs, helping to keep their population down. But keeping black-footed ferrets alive is tough. They almost went extinct more than 30 years ago. Researchers say today there's nearly 300 left in North America. We uh, had a count in the spring, and we've got three left, which is not unusual for, for uh, confinement raised ferrets to have that big a death loss. But Moore says he's not giving up just yet. We'll release some more this September and get the numbers back up until we uh, get where the population corresponds with the prairie dog town. Marissa Lucetto, KRQE News 13. This release was only the third ever in New Mexico.